Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are here with the Halloween 2021 event, and we are in the Green Ogre Scale Mission. Thought I'd go ahead and jump in and do a little, do a little off-screen uh, grinding so that we can get to the point where we are almost at the end of it. And I've already managed to catch seven of them out of the 13. We're going to sit here and try to get the six. But I'm going to show you the, the spot that I have located that is really, really good for these guys. And it is over at the Woody Enchantment peg. So if you come over here, it is right over here. And we've already got ourselves set up there just about. we got to get... Alright, we are going to head on over there to that location. It is, if I'm not mistaken, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I wanted to check. Alright, I wanted to check to see if these tombstones were going to produce any stuff this time. Okay, we've got a hawk claw. Now we already have those, but that's actually good because that's going to increase our chances even more. And then we need to, let's see, how do I get back there? I thought it was this way. Yeah, it is. Okay. And here we are. Now we're going to go ahead and place our rod pod. Right chair. Actually, I might. Nah, that's fine. Now that I've got another hawk claw, I only had two before. Now I have three. So this is what you got to use for, to catch these guys. You got to use those and dead mice or dead rats or whatever they have on here. Check the inventory here. They're dead mice. That's what I thought. And the hawk claw set up. Everything else just needs to be heavy gear. You can do it without using heavy gear, but it's probably better to do it in this manner. And the bottom rods work very well for catching them, but I think I'm going to set my float rod up while I set up the others with this so we can do it both ways. Let's see here. Hawk claw up to about 25 inches deep and then we're going to get the dead mice in there and it looks like we are set to go now I'm going to go ahead and throw out the two rods that have the dead mice here now the spots that you are most likely going to catch them I've got one marked over here with that marker is that. Now that is actually the spot for the long nose gar, but they're also in the same location, so that helps. And the other spot is right before you get to this for the stick up. I usually put right there. Sorry about my puppy. My puppy wants the, my other dog Roscoe to play with him and he doesn't want to play with him right now. <laughs> yeah, he's only 10 weeks old and he's getting growing very fast, guys. Very, very fast. I see you. I see you, little turd. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and throw these out just to see if I can't catch some for some cash. Might as well get them all out there. Let's try the large minnows too. Doesn't take long. Yep, there we go. Now, the only thing that might go for these dead mice besides these guys would be the flathead cats or the long nose gar, but I haven't caught any of those yet. I've just caught the green older gars. That's what this is. 
a new personal record at 43 pounds, 43.639 pounds. That's pretty darn good. Let's take a look at this, guys. Very nice. Not as big as the Black Vampire, but honestly, much uglier. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a picture of him as well. Since so far he's a personal record, I've caught a lot of these, so that's saying something. Alright, now this is the one I had right there, but as you can see, very good spot. Now, usually what I do with the float rods... Oh, that's not it. Oh, and you can get Ghost Pike here as well, guys. I've already done so. Now, I don't know what we're going to have on this, so let's just see here. Probably a largemouth bass or smallmouth bass. Trophy largemouth bass. There you go. Every little bit helps, and I can use all the cash and XP that I can get here. I'm trying to advance my levels. Alright, let's get this set out there. I usually set it just before this and just ahead of it so that it doesn't snag. I've got the skull bobber on there that I had picked up earlier just to make things interesting. We're getting quite a few off of this one for some reason. Another largemouth bass. And it is the right one. Let me see here. Ah, yes. Yes, indeed. Another green ogre. He's at 31 pounds. Let's see, where did I have that one? Right here, didn't I? Yep. Okay, that one should be what we're after too. Yep. Come on, big guy. All right, looks like you got one off the float rod now. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, nope, see, I told you, you could possibly get one of these flathead 17 pounder, though. We'll keep him, too. Alright, guys, I have decided to skip the 
float fishing. I'm just going to bottom fish for these. And while I'm doing that, I might try to see if I can't get some more of these ghost pikes. I finally was able to get the roach spoon and the silicon spider. It took me forever to find them. Holy crap. I had to keep going to pumpkins and gravestones. And Believe it or not, I found them at one of them at Lone Star and one of them right here. I haven't tried to fish for the ghost pike here. I assume they're going to be here as well. Of course, I'm getting. A bite off the one I don't want to get the bite off of. Well, he's determined, whatever he is. It's probably a catfish. Yeah, the ghost pike have been kind of elusive. It's like if I catch them, I catch them by accident. They really are only in certain spots. And it's not where the pike are normally found, which makes it even more difficult. There we go, now we're getting... Yeah, we only have three more to get. And here's one of them, I hope. We got plenty of dead mice. It's not a major issue. There we go. Two more. And this will be one completed mission. Yeah, I think the toughest mission of all of these might be the pike one. I don't know. It's a toss-up between that one and the bowfin for the fish eyes. Because you only have like a five-hour window to catch those. And if I don't get anything, maybe I'll just wait till the peak time. Okay, he is determined. Whatever this is, it's probably a catfish. Yep, I knew it was. Flathead catfish, 481, 17 pounds. Yeah, why don't we try over here? Maybe we'll get something different. Probably not. <laughs> It's okay. I like catching catfish more than anything else in the world. There we go. Come on, B. Well, he wasn't quite locked on, was he? Shoot. Went a little too soon. Now I'm getting a good lift and drop. Let's try a little bit faster and see if that does anything. There we go. Come on. Yep, he's got it. This is one of our good ones here. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Green old gagar. And the other one. We might actually finish this if this we don't lose this one. Come on. Let's get this guy in so I can get the other one in. There we go. There's one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. We got him. I think we finished this up, guys. Finally. That's it. Green Ogre Gar, the last one. Let's see what we got here. Survey said. K6660. Okay, Cash, three bait coins. Summoning potion will be just the right color. Nice and green. Green over scales. And it's the scary kayaking. See, the Swing Croy, I've got the jaw bones, I've got the nooses, I've got the candle ends. Cannot find these two black cats' hairballs. Can't find them. I have looked in every one of them. I cannot find them. And it's really, really wearing the crap out of me because I may not be able to take part in that last kayaking mission without that. As you can see, I need two of them. I haven't found a single one of them yet. And I have checked every stinking word. It's really aggravating the crap out of me. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the scary kayaking. If not, we'll at least get to the Albano Yeti Gar fishing, and we'll go from there. See what happens. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.